Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly readings for the week starting October 26, 2015. This reading is for Leo. Uh, you have the overall week, day by day. You have general advice and then we have the love section, what's in store for a couple of Leos and what's in store for single Leos in the week starting October 26, 2015. Thank you very much for being here with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing and commenting. I truly appreciate the support. I really do. Um, and please bear in mind that these are general readings and so um, they may not apply to everybody watching. And if you'd like a private reading, you can email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information regarding um, types of readings, cost, time frame, that kind of thing. Okay, so Leos, you definitely have a very good week ahead of you. You've got three aces in your reading, so new beginnings everywhere. Okay, Monday, you have the Page of Swords. Okay, so some of you could be getting into a bit of an argument or a bit of a conflict with an air sign. Air signs are uh, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Um, because you may feel attacked by this person or this person is actually attacking you some way um, but it's all with words okay so because the, the swords are all about communication and mental processes okay um, if this is happening to you then please remember not to take it personally and please remember that they are probably having this argument just for the sake of having an argument with you because they're bored okay that's the kind of attitude i'm getting off them um for others of you you could be receiving some news on monday and it may seem a bit difficult to process because it's very raw okay it's very direct information that comes to you no filter no anything so it may take you aback a little bit but after a minute you'll be able to process it and take it all in and just overall just make sure you hold back okay don't let things get to you on monday hold back on your emotions uh, try to be logical and rational, okay, and deal with things in a rational way rather than reacting emotionally, okay? On Tuesday, you have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is a wonderful card because it's the card of victory. This is a win, okay? This is a new beginning. You are creating a new beginning for you. You may have to choose between two things. Um, um, it, this is it could be two jobs two places two houses two it could be two people for a very few of you um, and whichever one you choose will be good for you one will bear fruit quicker than the other but they will both bear fruit for you um, this is seeing things clearly this is having um, a very lucid very rational very logical way of seeing things a very uh, clear perspective um, this is you being fair this is you cutting away things that no longer serve you um, it could be that you are cutting away um, negative people or negative situations from your life and you are moving forward with a determination with um, a drive for a positive new beginning for um, a path of clarity and fairness on Wednesday you have the two of wands so again it's about a choice you have to make okay it could be choosing between two jobs or choosing between two contracts choosing between two projects because it is a wands card um, and we do have the roses in there that draw my attention um, so you could be again choosing between two people um, but the world is in your hand so you have all the information to make this decision um, and you just have to figure out which decision you want to make which way you want to go you could be choosing between the past and the future for some of you okay because this is already nailed to the wall that has happened that's not moving anywhere so that's the past 
and this could be the future because you're looking towards the horizon okay you are you have your back turned to the past and you're looking towards the future so you could be in between your past and your present situation moving on to the future which one you want to go to the future with if that makes sense um on thursday you have the page of wands and the page is all about communication okay and the page of wands uh, brings you good news um, especially when it comes to work especially when it comes to uh, your projects to travel it could be good news when it comes to love this could be love messages coming your way love um, in the form of emails texts telephones um, telephone calls I mean um, but it's very positive news for some of you this is an invitation um, this is an invitation on a new adventure this is an invitation to do something you haven't done before um, this is an invitation to think and act outside the box um, you are very inspired you're very creative or this news inspires you or this invitation brings out your creativity whatever it is um, just go with it um, and the news could be coming to you from a fire sign. Fire signs are um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it could be an invitation to travel for some of you as well, okay? On Friday, you have the Three of Swords. And the way I see this card in this reading is feeling stuck. Feeling like you can't move, feeling like you can't express yourself, feeling like you can't be who you are or you can't be happy. Um, this is you feeling limited, feeling constricted, uh, feeling overwhelmed, burdened, like you're not allowed to do something or you're not allowed to, to say something or you're not allowed to think something. Um, for some of you, you are doing this to yourself, you're holding yourself back. Um, and for others, this is past pain having a hold on you. You're allowing past pain um, to put those swords in your heart to keep you in that pain, to keep you in the past. Um, it could be temporary separation for some of you in your relationships. It's, it talks about heartache or heartbreak. Um, and it's also with the clouds in there. It's also not seeing things clearly. So you're feeling trapped, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling like you can't express yourself. But it's all in your mind because it is a swords card. Okay, so you need to change your perspective and get those swords out of that heart. Okay, because there's nothing holding them there you can just pull them out and heal and move on so the advice of this card is let things go let past pain go learn the lesson but leave the pain behind allow your heart to heal um, another aspect of this card is you being afraid you being afraid to move on you being afraid to express yourself you being afraid to let go of something Okay, so look at what it is you're afraid of, what it is that is holding you back, because you have a you have a beautiful reading apart from this card. Okay, so it could be that everything new that's happening is scaring you, in which case you need to take a breath and just go with the flow. Okay, really work on that, because on Saturday and on Sunday you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Okay. So the Ace of Pentacles is all about good news when it comes to your money, good news when it comes to the home. This is finances getting better. This is you getting the job, you getting the raise, you getting the bonus, you getting the promotion. This is a new beginning. This is a new job. It could be a new relationship. This could be moving in together, starting a new phase in the relationship. This could also be marriage, okay, being offered, being on the table for you. Um, it could also be travel again travel is in your cards um it's either travel because of this new job or it's travel to celebrate this new raise this new promotion that you've received but it is money getting better and it is um 
something with very long-term potential. As long as you keep putting in the work, it will bear plenty of fruit for you. And then you have the Ace of Wands on Sunday, and the Ace of Wands is all about, again, a new beginning, a new beginning with a passion. Um, this is, again, new job, new project, new contract, promotion, advancement, um, travel for your job, relocation. This is moving home. This is moving in together. This is um, falling in love and starting a relationship. It is a very beautiful card. This is you finding your confidence. This is you taking charge of the situation. Um, this is you believing in yourself. This is you taking charge and making things happen for yourself. And this is a beautiful new beginning in whatever area of life this applies to you that you have made happen, okay? It's important for you to remember that and find your trust, okay? Find your self-confidence and your self-respect and move forward with a passion, okay? Because you've got three aces in your card, so next week should be out with the old and in with the new and allow the new to come in because it's coming in on on all fronts okay your general advice there you go you've got the king of Raphael who says yes it is safe to trust and the ability to accomplish many things at once and follow your creative passions okay so follow this inspiration follow this this new beginning follow this clarity that you receive in the, in the beginning of the week Follow your passions, your creativity, your inspiration, okay? And trust that everything is working out the way it's supposed to. Don't hold yourself back, okay? So I think that's pretty good advice for you and it pretty much ties in all the reading, the entire reading, I mean. Um, moving on to the love section for coupled Leos. You have released your ex, which um, I'm not surprised to see, to be fair. It says, the time has come to clear your energy. So this talks about either your ex that you're still thinking of and you're still afraid to let go of, or it could talk about in your current partnership, past pain, past difficulties you've gone through that you're still holding on to, that you're still looking and, and waiting to see again. Um, you're holding on to that pain because you're afraid it will happen again. But the thing is, the more you think about that pain that was in your past, the more you bring it to your present, okay? So again, take the advice. It's safe for you to trust, okay? Give yourself a real chance. Give your partner a real chance. Give this relationship a real chance, okay? Especially if you've been going through difficulties and you've decided to move forward together to work on the relationship, okay? Um, stop thinking about the past, whether it's an ex, whether it's a relationship that has, that has hurt you or um, that is holding you back in some way. It could be that someone has hurt you or it could be that you're thinking about a person and wondering should I have stayed with them and not with this person I'm with now? Um, the cards are telling you, move forward, let go of the past, okay? That person is in your past for a reason. So let go, let go and, and allow yourself to heal and focus on your future, okay? Focus on your future with this partner that you have now, okay? For single Leos, you have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so you've got a lot of new beginnings. Um, you need to, again, don't be afraid. Be playful. Okay? That's, it's as easy as that. Don't be afraid. Don't hold yourself back. Be playful. There's nothing to lose and the world to gain. Okay, because you have a lot of very positive cards in your reading. Okay, you have a lot of new beginnings. You've got, it's either several new beginnings or one big new beginning. Okay, so have a playful attitude. Be in a positive state of mind. Uh, keep an open mind. Keep an open heart. And have fun and joke and go dancing. 
and go out with your friends um, and just enjoy yourself, okay? Because that will attract someone to you this week, especially with all these cards. And if someone approaches you this week or if you want to approach someone this week, the thing is, don't hold back. And don't think about the past. Don't think about, oh, what if it happens like last time? No, look towards the future. It's a new beginning, okay? It's a completely new person, completely new situation, okay? So really focus on that this week, okay? And I think you will have a very good week ahead of you. So that is the reading I have for Leos for the week starting October 26, 2015. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you find some guidance in it. Um, thank you again very much for being here with me. Um, please like, share, subscribe and comment. Let me know how your week goes. I love hearing from you. Um, enjoy your week and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.